Okay, today we'll be discussing the Chicano movement. So first we'll be just discussing what is Chicanx, describing what it means to be Chicanx, and then basically a definition. Then we'll be discussing when and why the Chicano movement began. And then we'll be discussing some key f figures and those who helped fuel the Chicano movement. And then we'll just come to a conclusion, a brief summary, and the impact of the Chicano movement. So first, here's a definition of Chicano or Chicanex. So it's someone who is descended from a family in Mexico. They could either be born in the United States or they could, they could have immigrated to the United States. So in Chicano, the ending O signals masculine. So a person who identifies as male may refer to themselves as Chicano. And the A in Chicana signals feminine. So a person who identifies as female may refer to themselves as Chicana. And the new term Chicanex is more inclusive, especially to non-binary folk who don't refer to themselves as male or female. So this term Chicanex is just be more inclusive for everyone. And of course, it's associated with the Chicano movement. So when and why did it happen? So it occurred in the civil rights movement in the mid 1960s. It was definitely influenced by the civil rights movement. And Chicanos demanded to be treated equally and they wanted fair work working conditions and wages. And it led to a rise in pride and culture and roots. So here are some key figures. So I'm going to start off with Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. So they're the co-founders of the United Farm Workers U Union. So discussing the Delano grape strike, it was a non-violent protest and urge for better wages and working conditions. They were definitely influenced by MLK, MLK who, you know, the civil rights movement was also present or active or not active, but is occurring during this time period and the protests were successful in a way that they were able to get a, a bill passed where farm workers were able or had the right to organize but many of the demands that they wanted such as better wages and work conditions were not met and today still farm workers are still demanding for better wages and working conditions but they're still exploited by United States. Um, this strike helped create a political awareness and activism in the Ch Chicanx community and led to a rise in pride and culture. Next, we'll be talking about Rodolfo or Gorky Gonzalez, who was a Chicano activist. So he created the Crusade for Justice in Denver, which focused on political issues that affected Chicanos directly and also value art, music, vision, pride, culture, and the value of participation. So um, he basically took two ideas which the Chicano movement focused on, which was basically art and activism, and kind of combined them into one, which was um, very impactful during the time. And he's most well known for his poem, Yo Soy Joaquin or I Am Walking, which is one of the most influential poems of the movement or of the Chicano movement. Um, in the poem, it has one of the first definitions of um, what is Chicano, and um, it helped create a sense of identity for many Chicanos in the United States as they didn't have many literature or anything that included them. So, Many of them, many of them were influenced by this poem, and it definitely impacted them in many ways. So the Chicano movement has definitely created a strong impact for the Chicanos and Chicanos today. Um, the Chicano community um, are still look up to these key figures, especially and. Um, they use, they try and use the same tactics that they use in order to get better rights and 
and as um, the Chicano community is continuing to be educated on their history and as they continue to be educated on their history, their the power that the Chicano movement still lives.